I have not wanted any harm to befall you. As you are her child, she'd have wanted you safe. But if you insist on getting in the way of this, I have no choice but to strike you down. Another step forward. Not yet! There's still time! If only... Professor, you would raise your sword against me? Your mother lies here, waiting for us, waiting for you. Don't you want her back? Teach, is that true, or is he just trying to freak us out? If so, it's kind of working. There is no room for doubt. I know her appearance better than anyone. This is her. An upstanding nun who married Gerald. She died 21 long years ago. You cannot expect us to believe that someone who died two decades ago is still in such pristine condition. Incredible, isn't it? It's as though she remains untouched even after all these years. Perhaps her body differs from others. Beautiful, ageless, perfectly preserved by some secret only she knows. Whatever the case may be, it is strange, is it not? It's been ten long years since I found her. I came across her body, frozen in time, deep underground. I have worked tirelessly to solve the riddle of her death and bring her back to life. Halt, Elfric. Rhea. You are the cause of this. It was you who killed her when she gave birth to a child who made no sound. Tell me what you've done to her. Why does her body remain while her spirit does not? I owe you no words on the matter. But I will tell you this. She made the choice to die, that her offspring might live. I respected her will, nothing more. Elfric, just as I viewed her, so do I view you. You are as my own child. Please, cease this futility. Oh! You expect that I should believe you without question? You see her lying here before you, and yet you owe no words. Rhea, I am finished with you. The only thing that remains to be done is to complete the ritual. Hurry. He cannot have gone far. Yes, we must stop him at once. Let's figure out where he disappeared to. What about you four? You don't look like you're up for much of anything right now. It'll take a lot more than that to stop me. If anything, I feel speedier with less blood weighing me down. <laughs> Probably for the best that he drained us. Otherwise our blood would be boiling. Ugh, speak for yourselves. I feel atrocious. We must end this, and swiftly. Count me in. We're all on the same page. But first things first. Let me see that pretty face of yours, boss. Hmm? Why the hell didn't you tell us? Oh, I'm sorry I had to use you all. But there wasn't much choice. Someone would have died for sure otherwise. It could have been any of you. It could have been one of my rogues. Someone from Abyss. Who knows? You imply that you didn't trust us enough! I am incensed by you, Yuri! Use me or don't, but it would have been nice if you'd asked us first. Look, I get it. Your people were being held hostage. You were between a rock and a hard place. But I thought we were pals. Buddies till the end. I... I need you. All of you. I've been a fool. Thank you for always being here for me. Even now. Alright, I think this fool gets the picture. 
Time to find that other fool and take him down. You'll help with that, yeah? <laughs> I love the lip on this one. Let's do this, wolves. To me, growing up in the shelter of the monastery, she was my world. All of the memories I hold of her, learning, growing, walking hand in hand, she left me in awe. If that's what makes her happy, then I will watch her walk away with warmth in my heart. If that is truly what will make her happy, surely he will make her smile. That's all I wanted for her. To Citri, confined within the monastery walls, he was her world. I saw the way her eyes glimmered when they spoke, and her otherworldly smile when they became engaged. The look on her face when she told me how happy she was to bear his child. It was enough for me to see her happiness, to witness it from a distance. She breathed her last 21 long years ago. I have never forgotten. She died before she could see the face of the child whom she had so lovingly nurtured. The funeral was a solemn affair. We gathered in the graveyard, said our farewells, and watched as her casket was lowered into the soil. That was the end of her story. Or so I thought, until ten years ago, when I found her. Her remains, hidden deep within abyss. She looked as beautiful as ever. Cindered Shadows, Wolf Pack. Elfric, cease this at once. It is too late. The chalice is filled to its brim with the blood of the four. Should their blood prove insufficient, I will spill even my own blood to finish this. The chalice cannot return her soul, Elfric. It is incapable even of returning the body to life. Be not afraid. Today your mother returns to us. The time has come. Perhaps I am not an equal man to him. But I am here by your side, Citri. 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 The chalice. It absorbed both of them. Evaporation. What is it? An umbral beast? Citri. So I see. It is just as the last time the ritual was performed. Is this really happening? Elfric turned into that thing? Ugh, it does seem like some kind of sick joke. So this is the Rite of Ryzen? Like the dangerous ritual, if you ask me. Lady Rhea, monsters have appeared at the cathedral. Could it be? Perhaps his roar drew them there. Everyone who is capable must fight this beast, now. Archbishop Rhea. Things ended up this way because of me. Please allow me to make up for it. Yuri. But give me a chance to hold up my end of the deal. Let me fight for the church. <laughs> so very like you to steal the glory in the heat of the moment. Elfric used us. He lied to us and attempted to slay us. Despite that, he provided shelter when I had none. We must end things swiftly, for his sake. He's never going to be normal again, is he? For all those years, he tried to make this happen. Bring her back, only to lose himself. It's pretty awful. He made his choice. All we can do is accept it. 
Let's do all of us a favor and take him out real quick like, yeah? We'll help too. Together we stand, together we fall. Yes, you can rely on us until the very end. Time to lower the curtain on this unfortunate tale. Please act swiftly, but with great care. By my order, stop the Umbral Beast. Stop Elfric. This magnificent cathedral will collapse if this continues for much longer. That abomination sure as hell isn't going to back down. We've got no choice but to go all in. He's isolated. Let's surround him. Close the distance in one fell swoop. Don't be rash. Conventional rules don't apply in a battle like this. He's right. We have no way of knowing what that beast is capable of. We must proceed with caution. <laughs> 